But I want to commend Senators Coons and Durbin, Menendez, and others who have introduced S-5401. I'm a co-sponsor of that. It's on the Ebola epidemic, which poses a potential devastating threat to Africa and people everywhere. Before the August recess, we were preparing to receive dozens of African heads of state here in Washington. At that time, Doctors Without Borders and other non-governmental organizations had been ringing alarm bells for weeks about the worsening Ebola outbreak in West Africa. But the World Health Organization and governments, including our own, were slow to respond to what was viewed as a manageable, localized public health problem rather than a crisis that could spin out of control. Well, no longer controllable. Infections and deaths in Liberia and Sierra Leone are increasing rapidly. The exponential acceleration in these countries and potentially in neighboring Guinea. But official reports are only a piece of the picture. The ability of these countries to locate and diagnose, isolate, treat patients, and trace and monitor contacts and safely bury the dead can't possibly keep pace. While the epidemic has finally begun to receive the attention it deserves, it's spiraling out of control. Huge numbers of cases, overwhelming local capacity to isolate, treat patients, or trace their contacts, or safely bury the dead. Unless we have aggressive, coordinated actions and take them immediately, there'll soon be tens of thousands of cases. And of course, then the disease spreads into much of Africa. It becomes an ongoing global threat for many years to come. Just as when you have a raging wildfire, you, you deploy all available resources to provide immediate support. Well, that's what we should be doing now for those on the front lines. Congress has a role to play. I hope as additional funds uh, are needed, we're going to act responsibly and provide them. This is not a partisan or a political issue. It's a public health issue. It's a moral issue. It's one that should unite all of us in the United States to do what's necessary to defeat this terrible disease. These are times when we're called upon to seek our moral core as a country. We should do it here. We'll be debating in the coming weeks military actions around the world, in one area particularly, and the tens of billions of dollars that will cost. Let's also talk about how we might help save people. That's also part of what we are as, as Americans. In fact, that's one of the things that should unite all Americans. Madam President, I ask consent my full statement be made part of the record. Without objection.